Okay, before I get started, these stands don't represent all K-pop stands as everyone is not like this. I am not trying to generalize everyone at all. I'm just going to be talking about things that at least one or more K-pop stands have done before which have annoyed me. Also I am in most if not all fandoms I will be talking about such as EXO, BTS, and BLACKPINK. And if you think I'm lying, watch my stan list video. Check out my Instagram and Twitter, and maybe I'll even show you my Spotify so you can see I listen to them. Anyways, some points, bullying, body shaming, the double standard, and sexualization, will be brief or not be put into the video because some of my friends have made videos talking about some topics. I'll leave a link to their videos in the description. Let's get started. You shouldn't be surprised that Fan Wars made it into the video, so I'm on Twitter, or the home of Fan Wars. Half of these fan wars are on the dumbest things. Here's a real example. When the Stray Kids light stick came out, Adonis claimed they stole the compass idea from them. It was only a small fan war. Bigger fan wars occur sadly. Your idols would not want anyone fighting. XOLs and armies have been fighting since 1873 over dumb things such as plagiarism when it isn't even plagiarism and BTS is friends with EXO. Another big fan war is between Blinks and ARMY. It's mostly the awards and views. Here's a tweet from someone who believes that BTS should get a Grammy instead of BLACKPINK, who would be a nominee in a different category because of the number of songs they have. I actually do believe that BTS deserves a Grammy but don't compare BLACKPINK to them especially if BLACKPINK would be in Best New Artist. They're indirectly saying that BLACKPINK hasn't gone through anything, doesn't care about blinks, and hasn't made it to BTS's level. When these two groups are completely different except they both have huge success, care about their fandoms, and have gone through a lot. Sure BTS were from a small company and had to work their way from the bottom to the top but like BTS, BLACKPINK has been constantly criticized and called names but it's because of YG's actions. And it doesn't help with people making videos about things like this. But I'm not going to be getting into a specific video. This will create another fan war. And this brings me to my next two points. These points are superiority and bandwagons. Let's start with superiority. When something is superior, it's better than everything or just something else. Many fans fight about what song or group is superior over another. Many people will say BTS is superior which will lead to BTS getting hate. But making videos about it isn't even helping. There's no need to compare anything and say something is superior to something. Y'all might say oh Julia I see you commenting so and so is superior well I'm actually joking when I say someone or something is superior. Unless it's 19 by Stray Kids. I'm just kidding. But why do fans have to bring up if their faves are better than another group? It's pointless. It will just bring fan wars. Let's move on to bandwagons. A bandwagon is something that has become very popular. Let's bring back 2017 for a second. This is when BTS got really big. It's also when I stand them and when I got into K-pop. As BTS began to get bigger and bigger, there started to be more bandwagon stands, or stands who stand them because it seemed trendy or popular. Even celebs did it to gain more followers because if someone is seen supporting their faves, people will start to follow them. And it happens both ways. But bandwagoning isn't always good. You'll see Blackpink getting bandwagon hate and there will be fake stands. Speaking of fake stands, let's talk about Ollie London for a second. If you don't know who he is, he's a grown man who is from England who got plastic surgery to look like BTS Jimin here's a comparison. This guy probably wanted attention and to be famous and searched up who was big and popular and saw Chi Mean. If you look at his Instagram before the whole Cory Boo thing, it's actually quite normal and actually quite cool. Let me just tell you, he's in a relationship and here he's saying he wants to marry a Korean. Does that scream Cory Boo to you? Korea Boos and Si Sangs. I can't even with them. I just pointed out things that make Ollie London a Korea Boo but let's talk about others. These people are the reason why I don't tell my friends that I like K-pop. They give K-pop stands a bad name. Sweetie, your Jungkook Appa won't marry you. Did you get hit on the head when you were a baby? People say they're dating an idol and I just crack up. That idol doesn't even know who you are Karen. 
Also Karen, don't you think about going and finding those idols? You are making them in danger. Finding and filming them is so scary. Would you want a stranger following you and filming you? I don't think so. I would be scared for my life. I'm already paranoid as is. ARMY already know about the infamous No Pants Girl but a couple of months ago in August. She was reportedly stalking stray kids. Stalking anyone is never okay. It is so embarrassing and frightening. Another thing I have to say is stop bullying idols. They're human too. Y'all have seen what happens when you bully idols. I do not want anything else to come. We have lost so many idols and they are in a better place now. We do not want anyone to leave us anymore though. After Sully died, this person on Twitter started sending hate and said nobody cared. They've also hated on Mina and other idols. They also referenced BTS. Honey, you're making people hate BTS now. I recently checked their Twitter again and they're back hating on Woojin because he left. Let's move on to my next point. Solos. People hate when one member goes solo. And then there's people who want a member to leave the group. Let's call them solo anti-members. Like you do not stand the group if you hate one of the members. You shouldn't call yourself a stan. Say you only stan Hyunjin from Stray Kids. You are not a Stray Kids stan. And say you hate Jin from BTS. You are not ARMY. Let's get back to solos. When Sully went solo, you guys hated her to the point of her killing herself. You should be ashamed of yourself. And telling people to leave a group is also horrible. Speaking of groups I'm going to talk about something that happened with 101. One of the members, Min Hyun, was a part of a group before he joined 101. Min Hyun was a part of New East. Y'all hated when Min Hyun made interactions with New East. Do you think he's gonna forget about the group he was already a part of for around 7 years? I don't think so. Min Hyun didn't deserve being hated on for being a good brother. Let's move on to my next point. Now it's time for shipping. Oh don't you just love it? If an idol laughs or talks with an idol, people ship. If an idol looks at an idol, they ship. Even if an idol breathes the same air as another idol, people will ship them together. Let's talk about Yi Anjin and Yiji. A Twitter account has been shipping them and says they're in love. I'm literally laughing. And then once someone dates, y'all be hating them for so long. This will cause them to kill their relationship. Good for you guys. Thank you for watching those were all of my points and I probably forgot some. Remember, not everyone is like this but I hope this sheds a new light on things. If bullying, the double standard, body shaming, and sexualization didn't make it into the video, check out Dimpla June's and Sparklyian's videos. I will leave a link to their videos in the description. I'm sorry if I've offended you but these are just my opinions and of course everyone is different. Many K-pop stands are sweet as well. Feel free to leave things you love about K-pop stands to spread some positivity. I hope you all have an amazing day or night. And feel free to leave video ideas in the comments. Goodbye.